Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some new gear. Anyways, um, first off, let me thank all of you for joining me um, on the last video in the comments that you all made. Uh, all I had time to do was hit the heart um, to let you know I read it because the day I posted it, we got ready and we shot up to Big Bear to um, a friend of ours rented a cabin and he was wanting to basically have um, a get together with very good friends of his and to go ahead and, and basically say bye because him and his roommate are moving up to Oregon. So they just wanted to have us up there to, you know, just kind of a uh, closest people to them type thing. Anyways, so I was out of town and I was unable to go ahead and do much other than, you know, run around Big Bear in the snow and, and have fun with my with my son and, and my girlfriend and, and close friends. Anyways, so... Um, my girlfriend, she went ahead and she surprised me by ordering a couple of razors um, off the internet to surprise me. A couple of razors that I have absolutely been wanting for a while. Um, while we were in Big Bear, we stopped by an antique store. She went in and she picked up a couple of others. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And then in the next video, I'm going to be using one of them to shave with. So the first one is this one. I don't know if I have it up the right way or not. But I, I think it says the best razor, world's best safety razor or something like that. I'll show you what it is. Make sure I got it. Comes in a box like so. It's got some razor blades down here, all different makes from some are Gillette, some are English rate blades, or British blades. Handle over here in the, the cap and guard over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the razor. It is a three piece open comb. I have have no idea who made it. I gotta look it up in my razor compendium. But as you can see, the guard is incredibly flat and it's got that, you know, pretty decent open comb. The handle, I like the handle because it's got this here flat patch, then a little grid, a little little space, and then our flat area space. And then and the handle is solid. And you know, the handle is a decent length, and there it is together. Um so I'll clean it up and shave with it in an upcoming video. The next razor is one that, well, quite honestly, um, I was on the fence about. Um, and now I've been, you know, kind of pushed over to the other side. And I'm glad to because the next razor that she picked me up the one I just showed you was one of the ones she got in Big Bear. The next one she got me was this. It's a uh, actual straight razor. Um, it's got the flat square point. I guess that's a barber's notch. And I'm not sure what the ground is on it. Um, I did the test, my hands are a little shaky tonight, where I went ahead and I just kind of rode above the, above the skin and it was popping hairs really good. So, um, 
the only thing, the two, only two things on it is right there. I don't know if that's rust or whatever. I'm going to take a little bit of steel wool and go ahead and, or I'm going to try and buff it out with a razor emporium buffing cloth. If that doesn't work, I'm going to get some very fine steel wool and just buff it and then just, you know, rub it after I put a little bit of WD-40 if that doesn't take it off. And I think I said it says Frank Hall 1878 on the scales. And which side is it? On this side, the scales are cracked. I know that's not a big deal. I know it's not a killer. Now, I did, because of this, I did go back on Facebook. And I asked, in a couple of the groups, asked the guys if they knew anything about Frank Hall in 1878. So, I did that. Um, so, you know, I, I did go back to Facebook, but it was to see if anybody had any info on this. And um, I'm looking very forward to using it. I just got to get a strop, practice strop, um, get good at stropping it, and then eventually I'll be doing a straight razor shave. So, that should be either relatively bloodless because of my time using, you know, shaving, wet shaving already, or it, well, could be messy. I don't know. But anyways, if any of you straight razor users, like, you know, Shave and Butcher, um, Justin, well, uh, Justin, I, he, I don't think he knows much about it because he recommended a couple of people I ask, um, or he recommended somebody ask. But if any of you straight razor shavers out there know anything about Frank Hall in 1878, let me know. Um, I did, what I did find was Clark and Hall in the 1800s to early 1900s. But that's about all I got. Anyways, the next razor is one that I've absolutely been wanting for a while. It's one of three I would have took in any three. And it is this, a magic mar marker. No, um, actually, what it is, is this is the razor handle. That cap. It does have a blade in it. And it is a 19, to my knowledge, it's from 31. But it is a Schick. Type A repeating razor. In case you're not familiar with it, down here, well, let me go ahead and do this. It came shaped, you know, with blades in it. But what you would do is you would turn the head that way, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to drop the blade and not be able to find it. But down here, you would pull down here, the bottom, and it would come down. Then you'd push it up and it would go ahead and load a fresh blade into there. And to my knowledge, the Type A are the only ones that came with these caps because they were round. And then you unscrew this, the end here. And as you can see, inside there is a clip that holds injector blades and um, I called Matt, called Razor and Porum and asked Matt Pasarsic if there's any way you can you know take these blades out that way so no rust or anything he said you know without damaging the head and he said no not really he recommends to just when I'm done shaving with it um, just dip it after I wash it off just dip it in in rubbing alcohol that way the water will evaporate quickly. Now, got those out of the way. Now, time for the grand finale. And it is one that I've been wanting for so long. And it is... No, hang on. Hang on, guys. Where'd you go?
Ah, here it is. It is. Let me turn this down. Now, the doors are not all the way closed. Um, my girlfriend got it on Etsy from Vintage Blade, and it is this. This is a 1938 Gillette Senator. There's something wrong with the doors. They try, they jam up when you close them. Um, they actually drop down. They're lower on one side. We're going to contact the seller. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and it is an open cone DE razor, twist open. And I've been wanting a senator for so long. And the plating looks new. There's no nicks, no scratches on this. I don't know if it's nickel plated or rhodium. My girlfriend says it's very, very shiny. It's probably rhodium, I believe. Um, I'll find out later. We're going to find out. We're going to message him because I just opened it last night. So we're going to message him and let him know I don't want a refund. I just want the razor fixed to work right. And um, so that's going to be in a later video. But it is a razor that I've absolutely just want it so bad because, you know, I mean, just kind of the scarcity of it and just they sound so cool and when you're holding it it it's just as cool a razor as you hear described especially when you can't see and you try to imagine it so it's all that i imagined and that's kind of these are all kind of my early valentine's gifts anyways so that's the video i hope you all enjoyed it i might have rambled for a few minutes let's see how long it took me zero 13 colin 48 1348 guys um i might slice out a little bit you know what hell with it nope not gonna edit it down anyways so that's that's the video i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put this stuff up i'm gonna get cleaned up and i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a shave next with the type a and that will be done tonight and I'll go ahead and I'll load the videos up tomorrow. Um, I that or I'll wait a day between them. Anyhow, so I'll talk at y'all. I'll talk. I'll see y'all later. Anyways, I hope y'all are doing all right. Hope y'all have been having a good good days, great nights. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.